Well, uh, let me start and say that, yes, we did come off a very strong quarter for Mattel. Uh, we believe we are very well positioned heading into the holiday season. The toy industry as a whole grew and continues to demonstrate its resilience in challenging economic times. But, you know, many of the actions we took before the pandemic to reshape our operations and co are, uh, are continuing to, to, to show um, and drive momentum in our success, both in sales and profitability. And in that regard, we are ahead of the game. Um, Mattel's uh, growth outpaced the industry. According to NPD, we gained share globally in the third quarter. And in fact, this was the highest quarterly growth for the company in the past 10 years. So our strategy is working, and we are very excited by consumer demand and the momentum we are seeing heading into the uh, holiday season. What do you think has been the most important initiative under your watch? You know, our strategy was to restore profitability and regain our top line in the short to midterm. And we are on path to, to capture the full value of our intellectual property in the mid to long term. We made significant progress in restoring profitability. The, uh, uh, we just, in, in the third quarter, we announced that our gross margin hit 51%. This is 1,000 basis points higher than what we had in 2017. And with that, it was the ninth consecutive quarter of improving gross margin year on year. In addition, we also grew our EBITDA by 90% and our operating income by 131%. So clearly very strong numbers in a challenging economic uh, period. And in many ways, it's been a journey. This is not a one-off. We've had a few consecutive quarters of, of uh, strong performance, of bidding expectations. And clearly, the strategy is working. The strategy is working. We're seeing momentum. Our brands are resonating. Our product is showing a lot of innovation. And with the momentum we are seeing, growing market share, growing our catalog, growing the portfolio as a whole, achieving growth in every region uh, in constant currency and broadly across our portfolio in the third quarter is very telling. Take us through that, because what has amazed me is uh, the demand for toys. You know, I see it when I go into my Target store, my Walmart store, there are a lot of out of stocks. And, and clearly a lot of people are, are shopping the category right now during the pandemic. Why do you think that's the case? Well, the, uh, the toy industry proved to be very resilient in challenging economic times. People uh, spend, time, spend money, parents spend money, prioritize spend on children in, in uh, trying to find quality product, trusted brands, and provide engagement and entertainment, entertainment for children, especially these times. What people see and recognize is the importance of physical play in a world of Zoom and time spent in front of screens. And this is really where we come into play because we focus on purposeful play. We make toys that have a reason to be, that have a purpose beyond the, the, uh, just the play. And it's resonating. Parents appreciate that. Family, families recognize that. And we're seeing the results in the numbers. The, the brands resonate, and we're able to capture the, uh, the imagination of, of children all over the world. You know, how does the pandemic change your thinking on how to develop the next hot toy? You know, we, we stay very focused on, on uh, innovation and, as I said before, on purposeful play. Uh, brands have a long history, deep heritage, and built-in fan base. And, and we want to maintain that and continue to leverage on that engagement. And as long as we create great product and continue to innovate, good things will happen. The one thing I, I would say is that we did accelerate our strategy to drive more online retail and e-commerce. This is one behavior, one shopping um, uh, behavior that changed or accelerated. We did expect that to happen, but what we're seeing is probably, um, you know, two, three, even five years ahead of what we would have expected. And in line with that, we're also advancing our game in, um, in, in the e-commerce space. And, you know, we just announced that our e-commerce business grew significantly and continue to outpace other channels, even as more stores reopen. Online retail and e-commerce hit uh, or grew 50% uh, in, in the third quarter, and at this point represents about 30% of our global retail sales. American Girl, uh, our direct-to-consumer business, more than doubled and represents more than 50% of sales. 
So we also change the way we engage with consumers and find ways to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to meet demand, even in challenging times. One product you're selling a lot of online is Barbie. Barbie sales up, uh, what, 30% in the most recent quarter. Barbie's back. Why is Barbie back? Yes, Barbie did exceptionally well, up 30%, as you said, almost in every segment. What's even more astonishing is that retail sales were up 50%, 50%. This really speaks to the strength and ongoing momentum of this incredible franchise. You know, it's all driven by great product, design-led innovation, very effective demand creation, and cultural relevance. And when we say cultural relevance, we talk about diversity, inclusivity, purposeful play. This resonates with parents all over the world. Barbie was the number one toy property in 12 out of 13 weeks in the US. And in fact, it was the number one toy property overall globally in the third quarter, not just among dolls. Barbie had its highest quality growth going back more than 20 years. And, you know, it's been a long journey about uh, evolving body, ethnicity, storytelling, a lot of innovation around product. We very much reframed the conversation around Barbie to be purposeful and seeing significant franchise power and opportunity for uh, more growth and expansion for this incredible franchise. How do you keep Barbie culturally relevant over the next year? This is what we do. This is our DNA. Finding that, finding that connection, staying relevant, staying ahead of the game, staying ahead of the curve. We're not following trends, we try to set trends. And this is what, this is what we do. There's no playbook for that. It's a combination of art and science, a lot of data, but more than anything, it's based on great innovation and really, really good instinct uh, of our people, of our team that, that find a way to connect with, with consumers and remain culturally relevant and it's not just Barbie, it's across the entire enterprise. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the holiday season. Uh, I, I talked to a lot of retail executives and the, the, their word is, it's good. It's going to be a good holiday season, but your sales, your point of sales uh, sales have been strong coming out of the most recent quarter. How do you explain that and, and what's your outlook? Yeah, we are very excited about the upcoming holiday season. We don't believe there was uh, much pull forward into the third quarter from the fourth quarter. Based on our own internal shopper research, we see that the vast majority of parents plan to spend the same or more on holiday toy purchases in the fourth quarter. And we see it in our, in our own business, we are chasing extraordinary growth in consumer demand for our product. We continue to work very closely with, retail, with our retail partners to fulfill this demand. And we guided to a uh, mid single digit growth in the fourth quarter and remain very positive and excited about the, um, uh, the opportunity. Is it realistic, uh, is the reality that uh, just because the toy industry has seen such a, a crush in demand before the holidays, it will be out of stocks and you better get your toys early. We always recommend people to buy early. Uh, it does help that the uh, holiday shopping season was extended to provide more time and allow people to shop at more leisure. But yes, our toys are in demand, and uh, we're working, working closely with our retail partners on the challenge of meeting this extraordinary growth, this extraordinary surge in consumer demand uh, for our product heading into the holiday season.